Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is our second game of our doubleheader tonight. We got the number 21 Southern Utah Thunderbirds taking on the 8 and 5 South Dakota State Jackrabbits here in the Holiday Bowl. This is our second game of the bowl season so far. The last game for uh, Northern Colorado just took place against the Brown Bears and the Brown or in the uh, Bear Bowl rather. Uh, Regear Productions, what uniforms do you want to wear, buddy? you want to wear aways? Or do you want to wear the alternate aways? Let me know in the chat. I did message you on Discord. You must not have saw it. But that's all good. Pat's94 in the chat. How you doing? Let me get this shared in the Discord really quick. And we will get into this game. All right. I will not be playing this game. This is going to be computer versus computer. I've been looking forward to this one. These are my favorite types of games. So I don't have to do anything. I just have to sit back, relax, watch the game, commentate, have a good time, chat with you guys. Dayton Down in the chat, Rocky Clearwater, Tyler Rocky, Zach Sandlin. Back for this one, too. Appreciate it, man. Don't forget to slap that like button, guys. Tom Schaefer in the chat. All right. Let's get it. Let's take a look at these other bowl games really quick first. Noah, let me know what uniforms you want to wear, man. The aways or the alternate aways. Let me know before I start the game because I will forget. I will forget, like, instantly. Sam Houston State loses to Akron in the Alamo Bowl, 38-20. to Akron finishes 11-2 on the season. Ohio beats Northeastern, 35-10. to They finish their year 8-5. and Northeastern, though, a great rebound season. I think they only won one or two games last season. So, great rebound for them. Colorado State beats Southeastern 41-20 in the Houston Bowl. And New Mexico beats Western Michigan in the Emerald Bowl. There's only a few games left in this bowl week. Let's see who else we got here in the chat. Big Geo, Jay Balmer is in the chat, Matthew Lee. Jack Marius, Tax Air Tracks in the chat. Hopefully you just watched your... <laughs> Your bears destroy the brown bears. Any uniform with red, if you can get them, I got you. All right. Should have red pants. There we go. Whoops. Got to have the actual playbook here. All right. Wait, it wasn't navy, was it? No, what you, what playbook do you use? My goodness, I don't know why I can't remember. Is it Navy? I think it's Navy. Let me just double check. It's Navy. Why do I question myself? All right. Let's get it. The Demon back in the chat. Who else we got? Kelvin Jasper Jr. How you doing? Project Crusade in the chat. What's going on, man? Glad you guys stopped by to listen to my beautiful commentary skills tonight. Because that's all I'm doing for this game. I mean, other than this coin toss, of course. You're going to call heads, Noah. And we're going to let you kick it off. Because that's just what a smart coach would do. I think. I don't know. All right. Let's flip this camera. Or the controller, rather. Do, 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 do. And I am putting the controller down. And we are going to watch this amazing game. Here's Jamar Hicks on the return. And Hicks up to the 22-yard line. And that is where we will see the Jackrabbits offense Take the field for the first time tonight. And it is led by Tremaine Watson. Why do we not have the camera angle that I desire? We will get it. 
I don't understand what just happened. <sighs> Technical issues. We'll get there. But here is Lamar Jackson going to take off, and Logan Tyler brings him down by the face mask to start off the game with a 15-yard face mask penalty. Logan Tyler is the linebacker of the year. He won that award. He's also first team All-American. All right, let's switch the camera again, possibly. I'm just going to let the coach pick it. They want to do quarterback sprint. They're doing it. I'm just going to snap the ball and, you know, let them go. Mark Jackson in there, quarterback again. And he's going to take off up the middle, and he's dropped by Adam Joseph, the sophomore defensive tackle. Hopefully, we can get the camera angle that I want now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Second down and 11 now. Matt Carter in the chat. What's up? Man, Watson passes deflected away. And Southern Utah's defense holds strong here. Or will they? On third down and 11. Can you win a long snapper of the year award, Tom? I... <laughs> If we bring back the custom awards that I created for this series, you will be included in the Special Teamer Award, which is the Adam Vinatieri Award. Third down 11, pass almost picked off and dropped. That was Hagen with the deflection. Hagen, a freshman All-American this season. And we're up to 20 viewers now on the stream. All right. And George's punt is a good one to the 20-yard line. Here is Hagen. Non-subscriber corner. Gets it up to the 37-yard line. And with that, we will see the Southern Utah Thunderbirds offense, led by freshman phenom Nicholas Hall, number three. Cameron Matthews at halfback, number seven. And number 22, Brandon Lee at fullback. Over 1,100 rushing yards for him this season. At receiver, Jaquan Freeman and Prince McCutcheon. And at guard is Brandon Red, number 72. Here's Hall under center. He's going to be dropped by Big Frank Theory. His first tackle of the ball game. Tackle for a loss of two. And Frank Theory has been a force this season. He's a first-team All-American. And the defense for South Dakota State is very thin. It's just Frank Theory, Jamar Hicks at cornerback, and Chris Major, a strong safety. Three-star freshman Goku Lee is out for the season. And here is Hall. Nice blocking by Matthews. Oh, he should have kept it going to the sideline. Oh, baby. He should have had probably a touchdown right there, but cut it back to the inside instead. And Matthews gets the carry this time. No gain for him. You'd like the other camera angle better? Well, that's the camera angle that we're going to be using for our professional football league, the elite football league, that is, in Madden 06. But this, this camera angle is so much better for me in this game to actually see the numbers and stuff for commentating purposes. All right. Third down and 10 now for the Thunderbirds. They're facing the 113th ranked defense in the country. It's a little bit rough. Out the shotgun. Hall to throw. Left side wide open. Has his man, but he goes out of bounds. Well short of the sticks. There's a fourth down and six yards to go, and it looks like they're going to punt the football away here. Punt it deep towards the end zone. Can they get there? Oh, they let it go. McCutcheon should have had it down inside the five-yard line. Let it bounce, though. See what the Jackrabbits can do on offense. They are led by Tremaine Watson, who is number 10, four-star freshman quarterback. Lamar Jackson, number eight, currently in at quarterback. And Mason Smith, 
And halfback, there's a pick for Logan Tyler, and that's a pick six for the best linebacker in the nation. Wow. His first touchdown of his career. And Southern Utah strikes first. Didn't even get a chance to go over everybody on offense. There's four quarterbacks for South Dakota State. I got through half of them. <laughs> wow. Logan Tyler, the only subscriber player this season to go for over 100 tackles. He finished the regular season with 106. Extra point is up and good. Southern Utah up 7-0 here in the Holiday Bowl. My goodness. One of these days I'll be able to get through the, uh, the offense <laughs> for South Dakota State. That was just not a good decision to throw it over the middle like that. Can't test Logan Tyler. Not over the middle. That's his fifth pick of the year. He knows how to catch. He's got nine pass deflections as well. I mean, the guy is all over the place for Southern Utah. And that is why they have one of the top defenses in the nation. And here is the kickoff. Daly Redding set to return the kick from the one-yard line. And he is stopped at around the 21 and has a flag for clipping. On Goins, the fullback for South Dakota State, non-subscriber player. He was big in the FCS tournaments back in the day. All right, back to the offense here. Tate Redding, four-star freshman quarterback, number 15. Three-star freshman quarterback, Jalen Evans, number six. That is, <laughs> those are the four quarterbacks on the team. But we're going to see Jackson and Watson for the most part in this game. Here's Jackson, right side, and he finds his man. That was a dangerous throw. Called in by Brahms North, the big tight end. At halfback, Daly Redding, number 28, number 5, Mason Smith, and number 41, freshman Phenom, Chad Collins. He's a five-star freshman and over 1,000 yards rushing on the season, nine touchdowns. Here is Jackson from the shotgun, three receivers to the right side. And Jackson overthrows his target by a mile. You ready for the offseason, recent 23? I feel you. I do. It's getting closer, man. Rest of the offense, Reinhard Wendowski, Jack Marks, and Jacob Coleman at receiver. Browns North and Dayton Down at tight end. Chad Filler and Jake Seahorn at the tackle positions. There is Dayton Down with the reception. And that is just his sixth or seventh reception on the season, actually. At guard for the Jackrabbits, Dan DeBeers and center, Gray North. Third down and six, Tremaine Watson out of the shotgun. And he will throw it. Right side, has his man open, that's Brahms North. He has some speed and gets it down to the 31 yard line. Big time reception for the big man. His second tonight. He's got 17 on the season now, over 400 yards receiving. Over 1,300 for his career as well. Let's take a look at the defense for Southern Utah. Adam Joseph at defensive tackle, number 66. Number 74, Jericho Stevens at defensive end. Logan Tyler, number 51, in the middle of the field. We already saw him have a pick six. CJ Moreland at corner. Emmanuel Wise at free safety. And Bryce King at strong safety. Here is Lamar Jackson. Read option, first down. Stiff farming a defender. Breaks another tackle, and he's gone. Touchdown, South Dakota State. They answer right back. What a run from Lamar Jackson. One, two, three, four, five, six. He runs past seven Thunderbird defenders. And we're one point away from tying this ball game up. Do subscriber players get the start? Well, we have 12 teams and six of those are coached by actual people in the Discord. Those guys get to decide the depth charts on those six schools, which are um, let's see, who are we? My goodness, Jacksonville, Savannah State, North Dakota State, Southern Utah, UC Davis. And who am I missing here? I can't, I don't even remember. My goodness, I think I said them all. <laughs> well, those guys all, oh, San Diego, there we go. Those guys all decide their depth charts, formation subs, really, and, you know, team captains and whatnot playbooks 
everything like that. Now, the other six schools, Bryant, Cal Poly, Dayton, VMI, South Dakota State, and uh, Northern Colorado, I coach all those schools. So I pretty much can do whatever I want with them and get as many players as I want on the field. All right, let's see how Southern Utah responds after that amazing run from Lamar Jackson. That was his fifth touchdown run of the season. Here is Cameron Matthews in an end-around type of play. Picks up eight yards. Lamar Jackson is an NFL name. Yes, yes it is. He was on my channel before he was in the NFL, though. What's up? Yes, I think he was. I don't know. I could be wrong. Second down and three <laughs> for the Thunderbirds. And Frank Theory blows that play up. It's really a tough play to run when you have an All-American defensive tackle blowing up the middle of the offensive line. Thunderbirds sixth in the nation on third downs. That 53% conversion rate. That's pretty decent. And here's an option. Nicholas Hall has the first down. Runs a man smooth over. And gets the first. He's got 983 rushing yards on the season so far. Will he get a thousand? First and ten from the 38 yard line. Very good game so far. All motions a man to the right. That was Cameron Matthews, number seven. They're going to hand it off to Brandon Lee, the big fullback. He leads the team in rushing yards. And he's going to pick up four or five up the gut. Brings up second down and six. Jackrabbits with obviously more yards than Southern Utah so far. As their defense was a pick, or their touchdown was a pick six. It was a nice stop. A loss of one yard on the run for Brandon Lee, the fullback. Brings up third and long. A third down and seven situation for an option attack offense. But you'd like to get Nicholas Hall on the move here on this play. And they will do that. Option. Cameron Matthews gets the pitch. Dives for the first down. He probably could have stayed on his feet and got some more yards. My goodness. Took the safe route and got the first. Six play, 29 yard drive, over two minutes off the clock now for the Thunderbirds. And there we go, play action. Hall, oh, he had a man open over the middle, deflected at the line of scrimmage though. Anytime you're going to throw the football with Southern Utah, you got to get your quarterback on the move. And that's exactly what they did there. Here's Brandon Lee, the big fullback. It's nine yards up the gut. Nice run from him. Came into the game with 1,143 rushing yards. Which is almost 200 yards more than the guy in second, which is their quarterback, Nicholas Hall. That's the end of the first quarter already. It's all tied up at seven apiece here in the Holiday Bowl, featuring the 21st ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds and the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. They're down and one. Frank Theory is in the zone. And they're gonna go option and it is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Huge play. He's a fourth down and three, and Webb is on for another punt. Let's see if their, their coverage team can get down there and actually down this ball inside the five this time. That is skyrocketed. Can they get there? Yes, they can. Prince McCutcheon makes the play this time inside the five. South Dakota State starts to drive from their own four-yard line. 
They're going to come out in the goal line set that features Jalen Evans at quarterback. He is their fourth string quarterback, their three-star talent. And they're going to toss it out to Daly Redding, who's got some speed. And Logan Tyler drags him down. Nice tackle. Nine-yard carry for Daly Redding. It's a nine-yard carry for him, so he's going to need... Let's see. He's going to need 63 more... Or 53 more yards, rather for a thousand yards rushing this season. Second down and one. I mean, Watson in a quarterback now. Daly Redding gets the carry. Stops the line of scrimmage by Logan Tyler. He did not get enough for the first. The guy's a tackling machine, I tell you. And they're going to come back out in the goal line set. Brahms North is in the zone on the right side at tight end. And they hand it off. Daily Redding versus Logan Tyler. And he's taken down forward. And he gets the first down. My goodness. South Dakota State is 3-3 three and three all time in subscriber versus subscriber matchups. Southern Utah is 4-4. Four and four. Both teams looking to get another one in the win column here tonight. There's a nice pass to Browns North, his third reception tonight. Nice five-yard catch. Lamar Jackson in at quarterback now. Three receivers to the left side. Jackson will throw. Quick pass. Almost picked off by C.J. Moreland. Bounced off his hands. Intended for Brahms North. They're going to target him one too many times. And the Thunderbirds are going to make him pay again. Mason Smith now in at halfback. Only got 51 yards rushing this season with a touchdown. Nice deflection by Hagen. The freshman All-American non-subscriber cornerback. And Southern Utah gets the stop, but they need their offense to put together a drive and get past the 40-yard line of South Dakota State. But their offense hasn't done anything, really. A couple nice runs here and there. That's about it. Here is Brian Hagen on the return. And he's going to go up the right side, dropped at his 46-yard line. Good return from him. See what Nicholas Hall and this offense can do. Just 52 yards on the offensive side of the football so far for Southern Utah. Hall under center. Lee behind him at fullback. And they will go with an end around. Matthews stopped at the line of scrimmage and picks up five yards. And he cuts it up the field. Very nice cutback. Looked like he might have been stopped at the line. And was able to squeeze through there. Going to be a dogfight? Absolutely, Noah. Second down and five now. They're going to go with the same play. Matthews cuts it up the middle again. Falling forward close to the sticks. And they're going to mark him a yard short. So another third down attempt here for Southern Utah. They're two of four tonight. 53% on the season. Number six in the nation. Go with a fullback counter. Brandon Lee gets it to the outside, inside the 35-yard line. Mason Smith saved the touchdown. My goodness. Frank Theory in the zone again at defensive tackle. And the left guard... Jumps. False start. Back him up five yards now. Definitely not what you want to do with an option-based offense is go backwards. Less than three minutes left in the half. Still waiting for Southern Utah's offense to put some points on the board. Here's Cameron Matthews dropped, and there's a face mask. It's just a five-yarder. On red. Here's a first down and eight. Jim Langer, head coach for the Jackrabbits, furious. 
on the sideline. Brandon Lee behind Nicholas Hall, and they're going to go option. Hall gets the first down inside the 25-yard line. Nice cut up the middle. <laughs> All right, Tom, take it easy, buddy. 30-30 game with four overtimes. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm here for it, though. Shotgun set. Direct snap to Cameron Matthews, and he's dropped for a loss from the nickel corner. My goodness. Great play from a non-subscriber cornerback. All to throw it. Screen pass set up on the left side. Has his man. That's Jaquan Freeman. And Jaquan Freeman down to the six-yard line. Great reception from him. Freeman with 21 catches now on the season. And 550 yards receiving. That was his 50th career catch. Seven play, 48 yard drive so far, over two minutes off the clock. Can they punch it into the end zone and take the lead over South Dakota State? And they'll go with the wide back sweep, and Matthews picks up a couple yards. waiting on your transfer announcement interview. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Second down and goal now. One time out left for Southern Utah and Matthews is destroyed in the backfield by Frank Theory. Ten sacks on the season for the defensive tackle. He had seven last year. And that brings a third and goal from the seven now. Southern Utah, three of five on third downs tonight. Ball to throw, right side, screen set up, face mask. That's going to be an automatic first down. They had him stopped, and their non-subscriber corner, Holland, brought him down by the face mask. Huge break for Southern Utah. back sweep again that goes nowhere loss of two not sure why they keep attempting it you got one of the best fullbacks of all time just give them the football up the middle instead they're gonna throw it deep shot to the end zone almost picked off oh baby Jamar Hicks with a deflection and Chris Major almost had the pick and that would have been his second pick of the season The third down here from the four-yard line. And they're going to go with a wide-back sweep again. Matthews stuffed, breaks the tackle, and finds the end zone. What determination from Cameron Matthews. My goodness, his 12th touchdown run of the season. He showed a lot of heart on that carry. With that, Southern Utah takes the lead. Webb coming on for the extra point. And it is up and good. It's 14 to 7 now with 42 ticks left here in the first half. That was a 13 play, 54 yard drive, 302 off the clock. A lot of All-Americans in this ballgame tonight. Logan Tyler, first-team All-American for Southern Utah. Center Josh Givens, Mount subscriber player, second-team uh, All-American for Southern Utah and a freshman All-American as well. And Brian Hagan, freshman All-American at corner for South Dakota State. Frank Theory and Jamar Hicks are both first-team All-Americans. And Dan DeBeers is a second-team All-American. Here is Daly Redding on the kick return to the 29-yard line. Logan Tyler also 
won the Best Linebacker of the Year award. Rightfully so. Over 100 tackles. 13 for loss, 3 sacks, 4 picks, 9 deflections, 7 forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery, or two fumbles recovered coming into this ball game. And add a pick 6 to that stat. That was the first touchdown of the game. Omar Jackson, 4 of 8, 28 yards, and that pick 6. Second down and 3 now from their own 36-yard line. And Jackson going to take off left side. He's got the first down and more up to the 47. Good run from Action Jackson. Shotgun set. Jackson is going to be sacked this time. And that is Jericho Stevens' seventh sack of the year. 13th for his career. The seven sacks this year, most he's had in his career so far in a season. Second down of 14. Lamar Jackson, right side. Man open. Does he get a flip down? Yes, he does. Brahms north. Out of bounds. Third down and five from the 48 yard line now. Might see a Hail Mary here from Tremaine Watson to end the half. Strong safety, Bryce King is up near the line of scrimmage. Man, Watson is going to be sacked. And they call their final timeout. That's Logan Tyler on the sack. He's also got five tackles tonight. It's his fourth sack of the season. See if they can get this Hail Mary off this time. Both will be sacked again. Southern Utah gets the ball to start the third quarter. It would be huge if they had the touchdown lead. High snap for Watson. And he'll throw it this time over the middle. And it's caught. And there's a face mask on Coleman. But there's already a flag for holding. So the face mask does not count. They got a lucky break right there. Because that would have allowed South Dakota State to kick a field goal. Great catch by Coleman. And they actually declined the penalty, so Coleman gets the credit for the reception. It is 34th on the season. That is number two on the team. Or number three on No, that is number two on the team. I'm looking at my stats, right? 14 to 7 at the half. Now to start the third quarter, South Dakota State ready to kick it off. Try to be on Southern Utah next season? Do it. Do it. A couple guys get a head start for South Dakota State. Hopefully they don't return this. Oh, boy. And Hagan gets a nice return. Mason Smith brings him down by the face mask. Never mind. It was Holland. That is his second face mask of the game. Second personal foul face mask for the not subscriber corner. Wow. Southern Utah on offense. And Hall's going to come out to try to throw it. Left side, wide open is Brandon Lee, the fullback. And he picks up 14 yards and a first down. And with that pass, Nicholas Hall goes over 1,500 yards passing for the season. Not any really crazy number for him, but he was not the starting quarterback for the entire year, so. Pretty good numbers for an option attack quarterback. He is slinging dimes all over the field all season. He's hauling the option, pitches it out, and Matthews has the first down and more inside the 30 yard line and the offense is starting to click. Mason Smith is the one that took down Nicholas Hall. Just didn't get him down quick enough. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community today if you have not. If you'd like to have a player in this series, you got to join the Discord. If not, then you can't have one. Here's Nicholas Hall inside the 20. What a spin. Gets him down to the 15-yard line. Great run. As he is getting closer to 1,000 rushing yards on the year.
92% in the red zone this season. 32 touchdowns on 39 attempts, four field goals. Watch for the wide back sweep. No, they're going to throw it. Hall, throw it right side. Matthews open. And Matthews into the end zone. Did he score? They're going to mark him just shy of the end zone. My goodness, what a play. Dragging a defender. I thought for sure they would have gave him the touchdown. Brings up first and goal, though, from the one-yard line. Goal line set. Frank Theory in the zone. And they're going to throw it. Oh, and it is dropped by the non-subscriber tight end. Should have just ran it in. Ball 5 of 8 tonight. 50 yards, no touchdowns, no picks for the freshman. And they're going to come out in the goal line set again. And this looks to be a pass, and this is fullback dive. And they will throw it. Oh, it's picked off in the end zone. Jamar Hicks, and he falls forward. Why? Why would they throw that? Hicks with just his third pick of the season. Where is he throwing that? Oh, my goodness. That was Hall's seventh pick of the year. Wow. Unbelievable. First down and 10 from the one yard line for Lamar Jackson. Chad Collins, five star halfback to his left. They give it off to Collins. And he's going to pick up three yards up the middle. I cannot believe that they threw the football. Goal line set now for South Dakota State. Jalen Evans is going to take off up the middle. And Evans, one yard shy of the sticks. Nice little run for Evans. Came into the game with 56 yards rushing and a touchdown. And they're going to go play action. Watson. Right side wide open is Brahms North. And look at the speed from the tight end. All the way inside Thunderbird territory. North with 116 yards on six receptions tonight. Wow. Now over 500 yards receiving for the season on 21 catches. This guy is carrying this offense at this point. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm still stuck on them throwing the pick. Shotgun set for Jackson. There is the encroachment penalty on Adam Joseph. Brings up first down and five now. He went to tackle trying to get a head start. This would be monumental if they were able to score on this drive. Go with the option. Brahms North gets a carry. The tight end gets the first down. Doing it all for the Jacks. And we up to 18 viewers now. Slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you're new. I love you. Chat it up in the chat. I'll give you a shout out if I see your name in there. Daily Redding is in the zone. They're going to go play action instead. And Jackson, deep shot over the middle, and it's caught. Who was it? That looks like Goins. That is Goins, the fullback. Unbelievable. First down and 10 from the 15. This drive started out at their own one-yard line. And they're going to go with an option again. And this is Dayton down. The freshman tight end. He fumbles the football. But it's recovered by Jack Marks. Trying to get fancy with it. <laughs> Man. Six play, 92-yard drive over two minutes off the clock. Jack Rabbit's looking to tie it up. Shotgun set. Jackson. Pass left side. Caught. By Reinhardt Urbandowski at the line of scrimmage. No gain 
for the Jackrabbits. Brings up third down and four from the nine now. I'd love to see it end in a touchdown for South Dakota State. Unless you're on the Thunderbirds, of course. Three of six on third downs tonight. They're in the goal line set. Jalen Evans at quarterback. Lamar Jackson in motion, right side. And they're going to hand it off to Daly Redding. Up the middle, breaks a tackle, and finds the end zone for the touchdown. Daly Redding with his 17th this season and his 40th touchdown on the ground of his career. And South Dakota State going to tie it up after a 99-yard touchdown drive. 99. Extra point is up and good. We are knotted up at 14 apiece. And they give them credit for a 100-yard drive. That's how close they were to the end zone. My goodness. This is going to be a very exciting finish to this ball game. South Dakota State on to kick it off. And back to return is Hagen, and he is going to kneel this one down in the end zone. See what the Southern Utah offense can do after that interception from the one centimeter line on the field. They're going to go with an end around, and that was an atrocious play. Frank Theory with another tackle for loss, 57 in his career. Unbelievable. He's got five tackles for a loss tonight, folks. Five. That's crazy. Second down at 15 now. Shotgun set for Hall. High snap. Hall, left side, caught. Jaquan Freeman off to the races, and Jaquan Freeman is going to beat everybody. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Just like that. What an answer. Freeman with his ninth touchdown catch of the season and tenth for his career. My goodness. That was a quick strike. Southern Utah takes the lead back here in the third. And the extra point is up and good. It's 21-14 now. Two plays, 80 yards in 34 seconds. That was Nicholas Hall's 22nd touchdown pass of the year. He has been phenomenal for the squad. Mar Hicks set to return the kickoff from his own seven. Mar Hicks dropped. At the 23 by Logan Tyler. Who does it all for this team? He's all over the field on kickoffs, punts, defense. Let's line him up at receiver. Why not? Jackson at quarterback. Smith at halfback to his right. And they're going to throw the football here with Lamar Jackson over the middle. Caught again by Brahms North. He's all over the place. Seven catches, a buck 22. They cannot guard him. The only way they're going to stop him is if they put Logan Tyler on him all game long in man-to-man. -man. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's going on, brother? Glad to see you. Lamar Jackson, deep shot over the middle, and it's caught! Jack Marks is gone! Oh my goodness, fireworks from everybody! That's crazy! Marks with his sixth touchdown 
reception of the year. I don't know what Emmanuel Wise, the freshman safety, was doing, but he was not playing defense. Wow. <laughs> what an answer. Two quick strikes. And we are all tied up again at 21 all. <laughs> this game is just going to turn insane. I can see it. I can see it right now. We had a slow, methodical 99, well, 100-yard touchdown drive, it said. And now we've got two touchdown drives, back-to-back, -back, two plays, huge touchdown passes. What a play. <laughs> this is crazy. Hagen on for the kick return. He's going to kneel this one down again. Nine yards deep in his end zone. And let's see if Hall has an answer for that long touchdown pass to Jack Marks from Lamar Jackson. Hall under center. We'll hand it off to Brandon Lee, who picks up maybe two yards up the middle. And that'll bring up second down and eight now. Lee nearly 1,200 rushing yards on the season from his fullback spot. And Hall's going to hand it off to Lee again. Counter up the middle. And he picks up maybe five yards. And that brings up third down and three. Nice little run. Looked like it was going to be blown up, but he somehow squeezed through there to get positive yards. They're down and three. Same formation for the Thunderbirds. And they'll go with the wide back sweep, and Matthews is stopped. My goodness. Fourth down and two, Jackrabbits are going to get the football back. 26 points on the season for Webb, just three inside the 20. One of them here tonight. And can we get another nice one? This is a pretty decent one to the 30-yard line for Jamar Hicks. Drop at the 36-yard line. That is the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. I want to see them all. Get them up. It's all tied up, 21 all here in the Holiday Bowl. Mark Jackson in the shotgun set. Three receivers to the right side. And they're going to go with play action, and that should have been picked off. But did you see the linebacker bite on the play action, though? Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. He followed Brahms North all the way around the side of the field. <laughs> Same formation for the Jacks. And Lamar Jackson going to take off right side. Look at the speed. And he holds on to the football. Bryce King tried to strip it. And Jackson down to the 47-yard line. He's definitely been the player of the game so far on offense for South Dakota State, despite that pick six to Logan Tyler to start the ball game. Jackson to throw. He's going to take off again. And Lamar Jackson inside the 30-yard line brought down by his face mask. They can't contain him. My goodness. Up to the 23-yard line now. Noah Regeer having a chat with the referee over there. Say, so how about you throw a flag in favor of our team for once? And they're going to stick with Lamar Jackson at quarterback right now. He's been tearing it up. First down at 10. Daly Redding up the middle to the outside. Daly Redding is down to the one-yard line. Bryce King with a touchdown-saving tackle. 
Reading up to 980 rushing yards on the season now. He's got 42 tonight. Nice tackle from King. It looked like Redding was just going to coast into the end zone. Chaos okay, driven to the chat. What's up, brother? And Daily Redding punches it in, and the Jackrabbits take the lead back over Southern Utah. Redding with his second touchdown run tonight gives him 18 on the season. Extra point is up and good. South Dakota State on top, 28-21 in the Holiday Bowl. Here in San Diego, California. Thunderbirds need an answer quick. You don't want to have a, a long drive stall out and get no points out of it. Especially with how South Dakota State has been performing on offense as of late. Kickoff will be knelt down in the end zone. They'll start the drive at their own 20-yard line. You about to play some NCAA 14, huh? Okay, okay. Nicholas Hall just got absolutely decapitated by Frank Theory. I think that's his sixth tackle for a loss tonight from his defensive tackle spot. Wow. They gotta stop trying these end arounds and wide back sweeps. Cause it just ain't working, man. Second down and 12. Foster in motion. Hall under center. They will go option. Hall oh, pitches it out late to Foster. He's loose in the open field. Foster down to the 43-yard line. Great run for Southern Utah. First and 10 from round 43. After the nice run by Foster. I believe that was one of his first carries of the ball game. And they're gonna go option again. Hall in the open field, look out folks. Jamar Hicks chases him down, but not until he got to the 30 yard line. And Hall is over the center, the thousand yard mark, rather, rushing the football this season. Great year from the freshman. All the way to the 30. The play calling is bad, Nick. <laughs> Maybe you could talk to your head coach about changing the playbook next season. First down and 10. All under center. And around Matthews drop for a loss of three. Of second down on long now. Second and 13 from the 33. Just outside field goal range for Southern Utah. And Hall is going to try to throw it here. Left side deflected away very quickly. And that is going to bring up a very bad situation here. Third down and 13. Let's see if the freshman quarterback has any ice left in those veins. Frank Theory in the zone. Hall going to take off. And he, can he get there? No, he cannot. They are in field goal range now, though. This will be a 41-yard attempt. Let's 
see if they'll go for it or not. It looks like they're going to go for it, folks. Gutsy call from head coach Noah Regeer. And the freshman quarterback deliver. Uh, fourth down and four. Hall to throw. Right side, and it's caught. Prince McCutcheon has the first down. What a play from Nicholas Hall to Prince McCutcheon to move the chains on fourth down. Seven play, 64 yard drive, two minutes plus off the clock. Frank Theory in the zone again. I would not run the football his way. Hall gonna try to throw it. Off his back foot, wide open, and that's a touchdown for Jaquan Freeman. His second of the night, and his 10th on the season. He only had one touchdown catch last year. He's got 10 this year, wow. Nicholas Hall delivers yet again. That is insane, what a play. From Hall to Freeman. Extra point from Webb is up and good. We are tied again, 28 apiece. Eight play, 80 yard drive, two and a half minutes off the clock. Can the defense hold strong for Southern Utah or will Lamar Jackson and the offense of South Dakota State prevail yet again? Plenty of ice left in those veins, Nick? Absolutely, man. Now your defense has to hold off. Whoever gets the ball last, absolutely. Kick from Webb to the five-yard line. Daly Redding in the zone on the kick return. Look out for that. And he's breaking tackles, breaking more. Still going up past the 30. Nice return, but it's coming back. Clipping. On Dayton Down, oh boy. Dayton Down is in the chat right now. Mark Jackson still in there at quarterback. Three receivers to the right side. Daly Redding to the left of Jackson. And Lamar will try to throw it. Right side, throws it up, and it's almost picked off. That was intended for Dayton down. Boy, oh boy. That was a dangerous throw and triple coverage from Lamar. He's got 13 picks on the season. He was benched for this man here, Tremaine Watson. He came in and had a heck of a season filling in for Lamar. And there's a nice pass to Daly Redding. What a route. All the way up towards the 40-yard line. And Logan Tyler on the tackle, but what a throw. Look at this. My goodness, he had to throw that all the way across the field. First down and 10 from the 38. Lamar Jackson back in there at quarterback. Plenty of offense here tonight. Almost 400 yards for South Dakota State, 300 for Southern Utah. And here is Jackson pressured immediately, finds his man, and that is Daly Redding on the catch. He had 16 catches coming into today's game for 277 yards and two touchdowns. This has been an exciting game, absolutely. I'd be like the first week of the XFL, I thought it was great. Really excited about all the new stuff that they have brought to football. This pass is almost picked off over the middle. My goodness. Logan Tyler in the vicinity having himself a heck of a game tonight. Up to 21 viewers now on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. If you want to play here in this series, join our Discord community today. The link is in the description below. Here's Lamar Jackson finding Dayton down for the first down. The freshman with his second catch tonight. He's got eight now on the season. And they are in Thunderbird territory. Just under a minute and a half left in the game. Chad Collins in at halfback. Jackson to throw wide open left side. Jack Marks is going to be out of bounds at the line of scrimmage.
Now up to 22 viewers on the stream. Lamar Jackson and Logan Tyler, players of the game. And Watson is in at quarterback. Five receivers for the freshman. And throws it left side. Caught. Didn't get a foot down. And that was Jacob Cullman, the freshman receiver. And now up to 23 viewers in the stream. Like I said before, if you want a player on one of our 12 schools in this series, join our Discord community. The offseason is coming up soon. This is There's only six games left after this. So here's a deep shot left side. Overthrown intended for Jacob Coleman. The Southern Utah defense holds strong in their own territory. My goodness. It was very dangerous for the Thunderbirds, but they held them. And now they have a shot. They'll get the ball with just over a minute left in the game. It's a high snap. And this punt is going to go in the back of the end zone. All they got to do is get in field goal range. Let's see what the freshman quarterback, Nicholas Hall, has left in him. Didn't tell him on a four overtime game. Yes, he did. I don't know if we're going to get four overtimes, but this is one heck of a game, and I'm loving it. Hall from the shotgun. He will throw it. Right side, almost picked off by Holland. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was so close. Not a good throw from the freshman. We've definitely seen better from him. An instant classic, 100%. It's one of the best sub versus sub games I've seen so far. Neither team has any quit in that. Same formation for the Thunderbirds. Second and 10, high snap for Hall. Right side open is Prince McCutcheon and uses his speed to move the chains. He is so fast. They call their first timeout. They're on their own 31 yard line. They have to get to about, I don't know, about the 27 ish of South Dakota State to be in field goal range. Here's Hall over the middle. He's picked off. And that was Mason Smith. Was it Mason Smith? Yes, it was. The halfback slash linebacker comes away with the pick. Oh, my goodness. And South Dakota State is almost in field goal range themselves. And even if Smith didn't pick that off, that would have been deflected away. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a play from Mason Smith. He was injured most of the season. He was a huge part of the defense last year. They missed him all for most of this year. And he comes back and makes a fantastic play here in the Holiday Bowl against number 21, Southern Utah. And the offense delivered. Lamar Jackson is going to be sacked. Unblocked. Up the middle was Logan Tyler. His second sack tonight. And he's got 10 tackles. They're way out of field goal range now. Second and 18. The Jacks call the timeout. Oh my goodness. Jermaine Watson in at quarterback. Left side. And that is dropped by Jacob Coleman. He's having a rough ball game so far tonight. Wow. They need about 14, maybe 15 yards for a field goal try here. So they don't have to get the first down to take the lead. Five of nine on third downs. Watson by himself in the shotgun. Five receivers, three to the left. Watson, right side, has his man that's dating down again. His third catch. And a field goal attempt from here would be a 51-yarder. They do not have the leg for that. The offense is still on the field. No, they are not. They're going for a field goal attempt. Oh, my goodness. I don't, this is a freshman kicker. I don't know if he's got the leg for it. Yes, he does. South Dakota State takes the lead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. 31-28, Jackrabbits on top with 37 seconds left. I was unaware that this kicker had this type of leg on him. Wow. Two timeouts left for Southern Utah. They need a field goal to tie a touchdown to win it. I can't believe how much power that kicker had. <laughs> that was 
was crazy. Chat's blowing up right now, going crazy. <laughs> I love it. And there's the kickoff, and that is actually the guy that just kicked the field goal, so that should have been a clue all along. He's been kicking these in the back of the end zone. And I didn't even realize, I thought it was the punter doing that. Nicholas Hall takes his team back out onto the field. 36 seconds left, 80 yards for the win. Hall to throw over the middle, caught by Cameron Matthews. First down, stops the clock, and they'll call a timeout. I would have went no huddle right there and did maybe another one or two plays. The sliders would not affect the kicker for the computer. I'm just letting you guys know. So it's definitely not the sliders. Hall oh, looking to throw. Right side has his man again. Prince McCutcheon near the sticks. They're going to have to go no huddle now from their own 38-yard line. And they go with the wide back sweep. No, they're going to get stuck in this, aren't they? Seven tackles for loss tonight for Frank Theory. Oh, my goodness. And they're stuck in the wide back sweep. Frank Theory again, eight tackles for a loss. We're going to see a Hail Mary here from Nicholas Hall from his own 34-yard line. Do they have any magic left in them? Hall is going to take off. And the freshman gets dropped. And South Dakota State walks out of here with a Holiday Bowl victory over number 21 Southern Utah and the Thunderbirds finish the season losing two straight. One to Idaho and now to South Dakota State. Oh my goodness. This is definitely not what I expected to happen here tonight at all. The Discord Pick'em had Southern Utah winning this one big. 19 votes to five. And South Dakota State just just crumpled up that, that pick em and just, just threw it out the window, set it on fire afterwards, stomped on it a little bit, maybe urinated on it. Oh, my goodness. What an upset, folks. A lot of offense here tonight. 295 yards passing for South Dakota State. 174 rushing for Southern Utah. They weren't sacked at all. They had two turnovers, though. Two interceptions from Nicholas Hall. That might have been the biggest difference in this ball game. <laughs> Nicholas Hall asking his head coach in the chat <laughs> for an offensive playbook change. Please, coach. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that second half. 24 points in the second half for South Dakota State to pull off a huge upset versus number 21 Southern Utah. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at some stats here for the Jackrabbits. Watson, 5 of 10. Lamar Jackson balled out tonight. 12 of 19, 150 yards. Touchdown and a pick. Wow. He also led the team in rushing with 60. Daily Reading at 43 and two touchdowns. Offensive coordinator's about to be fired. <laughs> Mason Smith says he's going to the transfer portal, even though he just helped his team win. <laughs> Rounds north, seven catches, a buck 22 tonight. Jack Marks with a touchdown on two catches, 70 yards. Jacob Coleman with two drops tonight. Didn't see a whole lot of Reinhard Lewandowski. Jake Seahorn, right tackle, his best game of his career so far as a freshman. Ten pancakes, no sacks allowed. That is crazy. And Dan DeBeers allows his first sack of the season. So there's a little small victory for Southern Utah. Getting a sack against an All-American left guard. Nine tackles, eight for a loss for Frank Theory. He blew up that option attack all night long. So that's two straight bowl losses for Southern Utah, but a much better season. They only won six games last year, 10 this season. Huge improvement 
under first-year head coach Noah Regeer. So nothing to be disappointed about for their year whatsoever. A fantastic turnaround for them. My goodness, I, I am just at, sh at the state of shock right now that that field goal was made. I mean, that kicker booted it. 52 yards for Dwight Turner, freshman kicker. Non-subscriber player. Unreal. Somebody said that it was the sliders in the, the chat. There's no way it's the sliders. I'd never touch the, the kicking sliders for the computer. Hall, two touchdowns, two picks tonight. Finishes the season with eight interceptions, 23 touchdown passes. And he also had 11 touchdown runs and over 1,000 rushing yards. Cameron Matthews, just 43 yards today. Did have a touchdown, though. I don't know, maybe, maybe like a, a pro-style offense would be good for this team. Because, you know, you still have your eye formations and keep your fullback involved who had over 1,200 rushing yards just about this season. And you want to keep these, you want to get these big playmaking receivers involved. And Nicholas Hall, obviously, he can sling it, you know. He is a really good passer. Logan Tyler, 10 tackles, 3 for loss, 2 sacks, and a pick 6. Wow. Jericho Stevens had a sack tonight. Manuel Wise allowed a huge touchdown, didn't even try to make a play on the ball. Adam Joseph with a tackle for a loss. Six tackles for a loss for the defense. Three sacks and a pick. Four deflections for Brian Hagan. We're six games away from the offseason, not seven. We're closer than you think. All right, and that is it for the stats folks let's see the players of the game and then I'm out of here Hall's gonna be a good versatile quarterback in the EFL if he's gonna be in it absolutely man he just has to play a couple more seasons there's the trophy for the South Dakota State Jackrabbits the winners of the Holiday Bowl here in season two of our FCS Dynasty congratulations to them on a fantastic finish to their season, 9-5 and five on the year. Southern Utah finishes at 10-3 uh, and three on the season. Our next two bowl games, tomorrow night, number 7, Cal Poly, taking on Utah State in the Sun Bowl. And then Bryant has a rematch against Fresno State. They played each other in the national title game last season. I'm looking forward to that one. That should be a really fun game. I think Fresno State's going to give us our all, just like they did in the title game. But we have Brandon Allen on that squad. Cy Summers on defense. I like Bryant's chances. Uh, but that's going to be it for this stream, folks. I will see you guys in the Discord if you're in there. If not, go ahead and join us. I'd love to see you in there. Chat it up with everybody. But I will see you guys tomorrow night. Take it easy, guys.